Okay. So, um, let's do this example problem. And here's the chemical <coughs> equation. So I've written the chemical equation out for you, but you should be able to do this on your own. If you can't do it, you need to start getting to get, okay? Well, anyway, so it says calculate the number of waters of hydration present in a sample of um, Epsom salt or magnesium sulfate, whatever hydrate, given the following data. Uh, 1.5000 gram sample is heated with stirring until the crystals are reduced to a dry powder. After cooling, the residue was found to weigh 0 0.8476 grams. So, this, let's write down what the problem gives us. This is the mass total. And it says the mass of the residue. So what is the residue in this equation? What would be left? the magnesium sulfate, right? So, the mass of the mag sulfate we said was 0 0.8476 grams. So, can we figure out the mass of the water from this then? Yes. Okay, so how would we do that? Yeah. 1.5000 grams minus 0 0.8476 grams. When we do that, we get 0 0.6524 grams of water. Should we be able to figure out the number of moles of water from that? Yes. Okay, how do we do that? Shut it up. Use the what? Conversion factor. Which the is the what? What is the conversion factor we're going to use? <laughs> we just went over it for an hour last hour. What is it called, guys? What is that called? The molar mass, okay? The molar mass, right? We have mass moles, okay? So, what is the molar mass of water? You guys recall? Or, yes. So, what are we going to put on the bottom here? 1802 grams. Grams of water. And on the top? One mole of water. Okay? I think it's good to keep that because we're going to have to figure out moles of other things. Yeah. So I get 0 0.03620 moles of water. Is everybody okay with that? Okay. So, also in this case, because I'm trying to get the ratio of mag sulfate to water, I need the moles of mag sulfate too, okay? Because remember, this gives us a mole to mole ratio, so we got to figure out that. Is everybody okay with that? Yes. So, here, I multiply by the mag sulfate, and I, I calculated it earlier, it's 120.37. That's just that there, right? So when I do that, I get zero point zero zero seven zero four two moles of mag sulfate, magnesium sulfate. And how do I figure out what X is? I've got to take the moles of this and divide it by the moles of this. Okay? So when I do that, this is actually X over 1, right? Because mag sulfate is just a 1. So it's going to be 
zero point zero three six two zero moles divided by zero point zero zero seven zero four two moles. Moles cancel there, giving us Five point one four to one ratio, very close to five to one. Okay. So what you find is that x equals five. Okay. Is everybody okay with that? So we can erase that. Like that. Is everybody okay? So that's how you would do, exactly how you would do the second problem in your pre-lab, or the, the third or whatever problem in your pre-lab.